Jakarta is sinking, in some places at a rate of 17 centimeters per year. This means the city is constantly flooded. The sinking is caused by the increase in high-rise buildings in Jakarta and by the lack of pipe drinking water so people and businesses pump up groundwater. The water ground extraction is still high because the government almost did not doing any effort to fulfill the, uh, the, the needs of water in the Jakarta. They can do it because they still have a contract with the private sector and that is the bad thing I think. At the same time, wastewater treatment is poor. Heavily polluted rivers discharge into Jakarta Bay, which is the livelihood of the local fishing community. Menunggu dan mengharapkan apa yang diharapkan itu karena airnya sudah keruh, air bau, menyengat, kadang-kadang. Another problem is the creation of 17 artificial islands along the coast by Indonesian property developers with the help of Dutch dredging companies. The fishers are challenging these in court because the islands are destroying their fishing ground and the bay's ecology. <laughs> In this context, Indonesia asked the Netherlands to develop a strategic plan to tackle Jakarta's flood problem. The NCICD Master Plan was published in 2014 by a consortium of Dutch businesses and proposes to save the city in three steps. First, a stronger embankment. Second, a giant seawall in the west combined with real estate development on a bird-shaped new island. And third, an outer seawall in the east. The NCICD is expected to cost up to 36 billion euros. The Dutch government co-financed the drafting of the master plan with 11 million euros of Dutch aid money. Ntar kita lewatnya mana? Nah kita makannya dari laut. There is approximately 25,000 fisher in uh, Jakarta Bay, in all along coastal of Jakarta Bay, that will be affected by the land reclamation and NCICD project. The plan is meeting fierce resistance in Jakarta. Kita menolak adanya uh, privatisasi dan komersialisasi pesisir dan pulau-pulau kecil karena itu menghilangkan akses masyarakat. Local groups are asking whose interests are being served with the current design of the NCICD. The plan does not solve Jakarta's flood problem and does not invest in sustainable water management. Nelayan sudah jarang melaut lah, bahkan terbengkalai nelayan-nelayan tradisional. Justru kalau didiamkan begini ya akan. Ya Allah, si saya tidak bisa membayangkan mas, bisa-bisa anak anak-anak nelayan ini menjerit menjerit kelaparan kan? Kalau lautnya kita aru kita dam pakai tanggul siwal segitu besarnya tanggul raksasa itu. So far, there has been no meaningful consultation of local communities or even a strategic environmental impact assessment. First, there is no involvement uh, from the people by the government to starting from planning, implementing an evaluation project in Indonesia. Given these concerns, an improvement of Jakarta's flood resilience should go hand in hand with respecting the rights and livelihoods of small-scale fishing communities starting with an end to the land reclamations and public investment in the water sector. Kami melihat tidak ada kepentingan masyarakat sedikit pun dalam proyek ini. Yang ada ini kepentingan bisnis. Dan selalu diulang-ulang karena tata ruang Jakarta itu sudah tidak mungkin untuk ditambah apa? Eh, lahan baru untuk pembangunan, maka kemudian cara instan ditempuh dengan reklamasi dan jauhnya NCICD. Ini murni kepentingan bisnis, tidak ada kepentingan masyarakat.